Okay. What we're brewing today is a Silex vacuum pot. If you're old enough, you might have recognized this from grandma's house or maybe in a restaurant uh, if you uh, were traveling. Vacuum pot was one of the ways to make coffee before Folgers sold us on instant. And so the process is going to be that we have put a little over eight cups of water in our pot here. We're heating it up and as the water gets close to the boiling point, we're going to pour coffee grounds into the um, unit above. There's a rod that is act going to act as the filter. The water is going to boil and the steam is going to force its way up through the grounds and we're going to let that um, extract the coffee flavors and after it has boiled for a, a few minutes there we're going to take it off and then as the water that's left on the bottom begins to cool it is going to suck the moisture, the coffee, back down through the grounds leaving the grounds on the top and underneath we will have a very fine uh, coffee uh, will give you a very different flavor than usual but uh, this is kind of the process we're going to use we're going to put about 10 heaping tablespoons of coffee up here and as the water is getting close to boiling we'll go ahead and add that now How are you doing tonight, Martha? Yeah. <laughs> now, how hot do you get the water when it's in there? Boiling. You do get it to mm -hmm. boiling, okay. And it must be true that they say a watched pot does not boil. Oh, yeah. This isn't if you want a quick cup of coffee. No, no, this isn't, isn't instant. <laughs> 
<coughs> the first has come through. Now what do they call that one that's doing that up there? Boil. No, <laughs> no, they got a word for it. It's called bloom. We talked about the grounds. You do not ground it as fine as uh, automatic drip, right? No, you grind it about as fine as a French press. So a little coarser than usual. Um, the, the purpose of that is? It's good coffee. <coughs> so when it goes down, it won't, yeah. it's less likely to go yeah. up. Well, you, you get a couple <coughs> different things. One, you've got more surface area. So as it's boiling, you're not getting over extracting um, your beans and uh, then also once it's coming back down through you want it to be uh, thick enough where you're capturing it before it, it comes back into the pot. It all sounded good didn't it? Yeah. It's full of BS. Yeah, you make it up as you go along. That's right. Is that the way you make every cup of coffee in this place? Only for special people do we make coffee like this. <clears throat> the ones you serve in Indians cups? <laughs> and once you get a good boil going on, you want to stir it up just a little bit. Because you don't want to over boil it. And you want this to uh, boil for anywhere from three to four minutes. We're now at a minute and 27 seconds. Or thereabouts. already turned the heat down some so that we don't overboil it, um, but we still want it uh, hot enough that it's forcing the steam up into the upper chamber and not uh, bringing it back down yet. I'm going to have all kinds of editing on this video. <coughs> Put some music in the background. Woo 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 woo. woo, woo. <coughs> Twilight music. Do you use all the cream cheese? And don't you know you're supposed to lick that spoon off before you stick it back in there? There were two eight ounces left. Quality check. <coughs> okay. So this has been four minutes since it started to boil. We're going to move it off to the side, turn our main burner off, and as it cools, you're going to see the, the water begin to pull back down through the grounds, extracting the maximum amount of taste and from your coffee beans. You can if you want, because I may pull all the volume down and let them just do a voice over on it. Since you ended up with an audience. See, now is when I put it on ice to make it cool real quick. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> Put that hot pot on ice. Pot. Yeah. 
I've broken enough of those already. <laughs> <laughs> We watched a movie. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. This better be some awful good coffee, man. How <laughs> much? For, for the time you've had to wait? Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> now, is it as good as the Chem X, you think? Yeah. Chem X. different. Kim X is just a straight. It's better than I like it better than a French press, but it's not as smooth as the Kim X is. See, we're getting some coloration down below. We'll put a speed speed on this one, like a double time. Mm -hmm. I'll look at it come back down. If you put it on double time, that means you'll only have to stand there half as long. That's right. <clears throat> You didn't give me that Cleveland Indians uh, one. Pour a nice full cup of coffee. Now you got to take one for yourself and see you. You got to give an ooh and an ah about it or something. Mm. 